Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. In today's video, as you can see, that pinion was broken and I discovered that by when I went to go drain the oil. I found some chunks of metal and then when I pulled the ARB cover off, you can actually see part of the pinion, the tooth that broke off on the magnet, which saved it from being totally destroyed. So now I guess I get to do a rebuild and in this video, I'm going to show you quickly how to go about disassembling it. Obviously first, you got to take the tire off. And once you get the tire off, you got to remove the brake caliper. There's two bolts, top and bottom. Remove those two bolts, and then the caliper will come right off. And then tie that up, get it out of the way. Then remove your rotor, get that off. And then the axle is held on by four nuts. Remove all four of those nuts. And then once you get that off, you're going to be ready to grab your slide hammer and pull both axles off. Now this is going to be one of the most important parts of the whole job. Your bearing caps for the carrier are machined to fit a certain way. If they're not marked already, put a mark on them, a witness mark, so you know which way they went, the orientation that they went. And if you also notice on the left-hand side, part of the shim is hanging out, most likely because the preload was set wrong. And then buzz those nuts out, or bolts I should say, and then you'll be able to pull the carrier out. And at this point, you're about halfway done. This is where the sadness starts coming because as you start taking it apart, you start seeing all the damage that's done and it's not very fun. Rebuilding a rear end is expensive. Since I'm replacing everything, put a different attachment on the slide hammer and pull the bearing races out of the axle for the Dana 44. Now comes the fun part, removing the drive shaft. And it's good to loosen these up by hand, and I used a ratchet to uh, get them all out. But I'm just showing you the quick and dirty version here. And then I sprayed the flange down with some rust penetrant, tapped it loosely with a mallet. And then there's two holes on the back of the driveline flange that you got to use a punch afterwards. To tap it and it's a kind of a slow process where you tap it and spin it 180 degrees tap it again spin it 180 degrees and then hopefully you'll get to the point where you'll be able to slide that up and out of the way Once you buzz the nut off with an impact, use a gear puller to pull the flange off, which is the easiest way. And then get rid of the seal because you'll be putting a new one on. And then I just put a nut on, or put the nut back on the pinion, and then tapped it through with a hammer. And then reached through the other side and pulled it out. Now the pinion bearing races come out two ways. One gets punched out from the front to the back and then the opposite side from back to front you see I knocked the one out to the front and then on the back side our front to the back I use an air chisel to knock it out and as you see the whole rear end is disassembled. If you have any questions or comments post them below. See you guys in the next video.